Hi, the Samsung S3 Guru here. I'm back in the United States. I actually have a little bit of a cold from all of that AC and the planes and everything like that, but that's okay. But um, I'm just getting around, and I really appreciate all the emails and all the questions, and I'm getting back to them as quickly as I can. And I wanted to do one for Pierre in Joburg, or Johannesburg, depending upon how you want to refer to it. And he was asking me about... Um, uh, when I talked about the batteries, I said, make sure the batteries are NFC, 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 NFC. And again, I forget sometimes because this is my fourth or fifth phone. Um, and I know all these different terms and I know all the, the buzz pieces um, to, to forget. I forget sometimes that, you, that um, for some of you guys, this you're just you may just be getting this might be your first smartphone. It might be just crossing over. So in any event, I did want to talk just a couple of minutes about NFC. And why you want to make sure that you, your your batteries are NFC and what's going on with that. Well, NFC, NFC stands for Near Field Communications. And basically all that means is, is that in your phone, there's a little transmitter which actually goes through the battery. And it transmits a very weak signal. And in fact, in order for something to even read that signal, it's got to be pretty near it. Hey, get it? Near field communication. So that's exactly that's essentially what it is. What it is is that it's going to be used for a bunch of different things, but basically it has to be right next to it or on top of it in order for it to do that. And the reason for that is is that it's going to be doing things like your credit card information and all kinds of other neat stuff. And they don't want people from around the room uh, to be able to um, access that. Now, the most anticipated and the most widely known feature of near field communications is to be able to pay by credit card. Which, if you're like me and you have um, Verizon, you can't use Google Wallet. I can't use Google Wallet on my SAMI S3. I've been using Google Wallet on my Nexus and I've been using Google Wallet on my um, Nexus 7 tablet, but I have not been able to get you can get it to work i shouldn't say that but you have to root and i'm just talking about this normal everyday stock phone without doing anything to it um cannot run google wallet at this time there are some ways of getting it to run and google wallet um when i do use it what i'm able to do is go into mcdonald's they tell me how much i click on google wallet i say okay i, I authorize this payment i put this on the, the little place where you slide your credit card it blinks for a second and then i'm able to that it charges my credit card and i go on about my way so that's one thing the other thing is certainly the whole s beam and android beam where you take two phones and you put them together and you can transfer pictures and things back you know you meet somebody on the street and you say hey i got this pay hey, you got any pictures of this? and you're okay and you just hold the phones together you tap the screen and it transfers that way the other thing you're going to see a lot of is NFC tags. Now, I actually had to peel. I, I had a bunch of these, and I actually ended up having to peel this one off my bedside table. That gives you some idea as to how durable these tags are. So this is a – they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and all sorts of different um, – uh, they actually have a capacity for how much they can remember. So obviously there's no power source to this. Um, I'm not going to go into the, the science or magic of how these work, but essentially these are the tags that you used to see. If you didn't, um, if you didn't stop by the cash register on your way out from the store, it would make a lot of noise. So I just have two here. This, is, this one I know can, can carry more than this one, and here's one that's actually a, a little um, two-sided taped. Uh, 3D one. So uh, I'm sorry, uh, 3M one. So what do you do with these tags? Well, you can program these tags to say and do, I shouldn't say say. You can program these tags to do certain things. So for example, uh, and it, it's uh, I'll use the SAMI S3 program that comes with it, which is the tactile. Uh, so I'm going to go into the, the tactile. I don't think I can do a whole lot with this one because this one is actually quite small. But I'm going to go and I'm going to say phone call, and I'm going to say make a call. And I'm going to make up a number here, 617-555-1212. I'm going to say next. Now it says basically hold this to the tag, hold the tag to the back of the device. So I'm going to do that. You'll hear it make a little noise, and you'll see it says your tactile has been written. Now what that means is that I now could take this tag and stick it on something, and I could maybe have an arrow that says, um... Uh, garage door is locked if you need to open the garage door call me at this number and then you would take your phone and just put it over the tile and now it says 
because I, I'm not in the program to write the tag. Now it says I have three choices, and it says I got a new tag. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and it says call 617-555-1212. And I actually can actually just click on that, and it says I'm about to call that number. Is that okay? And it would go ahead and call that number. So you're going to see a lot of these. That's I mean, this is that was just a, a telephone number. Uh, I could have a text message. I could share a contact. I could start a Google conversation. Um, I could uh, check in at a four-square location. So, for example, let's say uh, every time you get to your favorite restaurant, you hate to keep writing, I'm at such and such. If you programmed a tag, put it on the outside of the door, and then every time you got there, just went ahead and did that, it would go ahead and log into four squares. Okay, you can also have things like like, unlike. There's a bunch of things that you can do with these tags. You're going to, I, I don't know what's going to happen with the iPhone 5, because I'm not the iPhone 5 guru. But there's a fairly decent chance that the iPhone 5 will have NFC. If so, then it's just going to take off just simply because uh, of all the adopters that will be using that. And what will happen is, is that you will see things like, uh, and I'm actually have some, I'm having some made up. I'll have a business card, and in the center of the business card will be one of these tags, and it'll say, if you need me, call me. And somebody can just take my business card, hold it to the back of their phone, and it will go ahead and it will dial me. Okay, so there's a lot of things that you can do with these tags, and you can um, you're going to start seeing them more and more again because they're fairly um, fairly cheap to produce. You're going to start seeing them in things like magazines. It'll say, "Oh, you're interested in such and such. Hold your phone over it." And you hold your phone over it, and here's a tag I have. What does this tag says? Oh, same thing. Call call X Y Z number. Okay, this one's got a little bit more space on it than the other one, and you can find out. There's that's the Samsung tactile that comes with it. There are some other ones out there in the Android market. Uh, I have NFC Tag Info, which will let you just scan a card. I'm sorry, scan a tag. Hold on, and then it will give you some information about the tag. So it tells you how much storage this one has. 137 uh, bytes on it, and you can make it. Um, uh, writable or write protected so for example if you put your phone number on it and you say okay uh, that's what I want you to do you can say that nobody can change it after that because you wouldn't want somebody to go along and do that there's also um, tag stand which sells a lot of tags has a program called NFC task launcher and of course they tell you where you can go and buy tags and then they have a whole bunch of things that you can set your your phone to do so for example I can say new task and I'm going to add an action, and I can say things like go oh, Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth off. Okay, so I'll say Bluetooth off, enable, toggle, toggle. We'll do toggle. Okay. I'll say next. I'll say uh, it says do I have two. Do I want to include the tag name? No, I'm, I'm fine with that. It says okay, program the tag, and it's going to go ahead and program that tag for me if it hasn't already. There we go. I think it has some. Again, this one came off of my bedroom table, so I'm not. There we go. Okay. So what happens is, is that you could program a tag with a whole bunch of different actions specific to your phone. So you could say, um, when I put my phone down on the table and this tag is there, I want you to turn off Bluetooth, turn on Wi-Fi, turn off hotspots run this program and start playing this music and your phone will do all that so you'll, t you'll take all those you'll put it on this tag you'll put this tag somewhere and then all you have to do is place your tag on that other thing i've done is um a lot of people like to use my um my wi-fi connection when they get to my house but i have to keep telling them what the code is and i, I can't always remember so what i've done is i've made a tag i added a, a new task and I gave the Wi-Fi information on that particular tag. I don't actually even have to give them the information. I've told them, told the tag what the password was. So all people do, and, I, and they say, oh, can I use your thing? If they have an NFC phone, they go ahead and they tap on that, and it goes ahead and gives them that. So there's a bunch of things that you can do with just your SAMI S3 and some tags. Tag stand's a good place to get tags from. Um, but you can certainly go on eBay or a whole bunch of places. And again, they end up, if you're just getting a few, they end up being about a buck a piece. Um, but you're going to see the, the price of these drastically come down. And again, they have all so they have um, little plastic ones. They have um, ones that are smaller than this, ones that are larger than this, ones that have nice little symbols on them. Because basically it's just a piece of paper with, with 
aluminum foil on the backing, um, for, for lack of a better term. Um, so you're going to see, again, the price is going to drastically drop on these because, again, they can make a gazillion of these in a few minutes, so it's not a big deal. So you're going to see these go down. Now, the other thing is you're going to see NFC aside from So now you're going to use it to be able to pay a bill. Now you're going to be able to use it to log in. Now you're going to be able to use it to program your phone. Now you're going to be able to use it to share information with somebody. Again, imagine having a a, um, a uh, ad in the newspaper that says, you know, call this number if you want to get such and such, and somebody can just hold it right up. And it will go ahead and they don't have to, it's not like, the, it's not like the QR code we have to actually scan and do something. Yes, I just hold it up and I'm all set. I'm, I'm ready to go. Uh, I also saw when I was on my trip, I was nice, a uh, uh, gentleman was nice enough to show me um, the new door uh, mechanism for the hotels that they were putting in will have NFC. So what will happen is, is I will check in over the phone. My phone will be programmed with a special code, and then when I get to the hotel room, I will just, instead of putting that card in, I will be able to have the option of putting the card in or just holding my phone up to the door. Um, the locksmiths here in the United States, um, what's this is a big one, Master Lock or whoever it is, uh, the big lock manufacturers have already started making house locks like that. So, for example, if you say, Tell your friend, hey, go by my house, and they say, oh, I'm not there, so it's okay. You can text them a one-time code. They'll be able to hold their phone up to the door and let it in. So you can see that there's a gazillion things that are going to happen with this NFC, which is why I said when you get your batteries, make sure that it has the it's NFC capable because some of the batteries out there, in order to make them cheaper, don't have the NFC. Now you can see on the, the actual Samsung ones, they actually say near field communications and all I was saying was is make sure when you buy an extra battery that it is NFC capable because if not if you get a battery because it's using this as part of the antenna so if you get a battery that's not NFC capable you'll have an extra battery but then you know you won't be able to buy a cheeseburger or you won't be able to unlock a car you won't be able to do this that and the other it's worth the extra you know, few cents that a lot of the manufacturers are now charging to make sure that your battery has NFC or near field communications. Okay, that was just a quick and dirty one. I'm actually, it's Labor Day. I actually have to go out to the beach and do a couple other things, but I did want to just do that real quick. I want to thank Pierre again for his very good question and um, keep those questions coming. And remember, this video and other videos are available through the Samsung S3 Guru app, which is available in the Google Play Store. So you don't have to go and, um, I don't know if I actually even showed you that. So instead of actually having to figure out when I'm doing these videos, you can actually download the Samsung S3 Guru app. There's the Guru right there. And you go ahead and you click on that. So you go to the store, you load it. And then from this point on, uh, anytime I see anything, I add it to the my um, uh, Twitter stream, but that shows right up under news, so you don't have to go hunting around for that. Uh, under tutorials, all of the videos, as soon as I add a video, it immediately shows up here. Uh, I'm going to start doing more reviews like this. I've been doing re product reviews, but I'm actually going to have to start adding things like... Um, NFC and Evernote and local and some other ones because um, I'm realizing that that's why I like the phone but if it's if you're new to the phone then you're, you're not familiar with those programs so I need to add those and then the last one is ask guru which is if you have a question you can go ahead you can click on that ask guru ask me a question and I will respond and sometimes like lucky Pierre I will actually do a video uh, in response to your question. So I'm the Samsung S3 Guru, and I wanted to thank you for looking at another video, and I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.